four years. I can't believe how they've flown by. Everything has changed so much. Look at this school. We've been here so long that it's become our second home. Remember all the hours spent here? Whether it was for team practice, sing, club meetings, and for some of us even tutoring? Look at our friends. I can't believe we are all going our separate ways. We are really going to miss each other, but we will always remember each other. Our school, our friends, ourselves, we've come a long way. Now it's time to take a look at our four years here at Port. When is there not a student in Port Richmond Halls? Whether going to or from classes, the halls have been the place for our quick highs and hellos. Along with high school came growing friendships whose memories will last forever in our hearts and in our minds. Favorite teacher is Miss Jacobs. My favorite teacher is Mrs. Vinyl. My favorite teacher is Miss Vinyl and Mr. Rogoa. My favorite teacher is Mrs. Rogoa. My favorite teacher is Dr. White. Oh, true, true. Through the years, we sat through our favorite classes, which just seemed to fly by, and our not so favorite classes, which seemed to last forever. But most of us can remember how through it all, we had the wackiness and the seriousness of Port Richmond staff who used every possible teaching method known to strengthen our academic skills and sharpen our awareness, all for the preparation of our post-graduation years. Through each 40-minute period throughout the semester of every year, we can always look back on the special class times that we shared. Separated. Teacher is Dr. White and Mr. Rogoff. My favorite teacher is Mr. Rogoff, and the best guidance counselor is Ms. Bucaro. And one of my favorite teachers is Ms. Cortez. My favorite teacher is Ms. Copley, and my favorite guidance counselor is Ms. Bucaro because they helped me out when I've been in school and they're the best teachers I've ever had. My favorite teacher is Ms. Vinyl. My favorite teachers are um, Ms. Copley, Mr. Sorrentino, and Mrs. Bucaro. My favorite teachers are Mr. Sherwin and Ms. Vinyl. Dr. White and Ms. Vinyl. <laughs> Students at Port Richmond have had the opportunity to explore their fields of interest with classes such as auto, where they were given actual personal training on taking apart and repairing cars, wooden ceramics allowed them to enjoy their time creating objects of their choice, and art where they express themselves in their sketches or paintings. Through these classes, we have seen some of the creative genius that lies in all of us.
five. What's your favorite TV program or movie? My favorite movie is The DuckTales. My favorite movie is The Breakfast Club. My favorite movie is The Crow. My favorite movie is Forrest Gump. Well, my favorite movie is The Breakfast Club. Hi. Seinfeld is great. <laughs> Baywatch. Mine out to one now. Um, New York Undercover. My favorite TV show is My So-Called Life. My favorite movie is Beaches. A football team led by Coach Piratesman with senior captains EJ Camatini and Jason Bambi had a challenging and competitive year. Coach Piratesman is excited about the future. The girls' volleyball team, guided by their coach, Mrs. Brown, strived for their best this season. Their perfect bumps and eloquent serves made them second on the island, entering the playoffs. Either backstroke or breaststroke, these girls will swim circles around you. With Coach Selman at their side, Captain Emma Bustamante and co-captains Kim Gagan and Sherry Weisberg have led the girls to a successful season. They were the third borough champs and seven of these girls made it to the city finals. Go Port! True sportsmanship comes from the heart, and this year's soccer team has found it. With Coach Kovacic at their side and Captains Joey Dixonberg and Sammy Esume, these guys gave it their all. The girls' bowling team are this year's PSAL City Champs. With seniors Jocelyn Smilowitz, Ronnie Goldberg, and Gina Poplanski, only one word can describe these girls, winners. With their 7-3 record, they will surely be remembered. My favorite movie is Goonies and Indiana Jones and the last couple of Jones. Well, my favorite TV show is the same one. With the same old Frazier. ER. ER? I agree. True spirit starts with cheerleading. Their presence is always enjoyed at all football and basketball games. It just wouldn't be the same without them. Their talent goes beyond this. They also cheer at parades and help at events. These girls did a terrific job. Checking out the hot spots of administration in Port Richmond takes us on a tour of many offices. Whether it's Mr. Davino in the principal's office or our many counselors, including the college office run under the guidance of Dr. DiCarlo, there is always somewhere to get business done at Port. Many of us have also spent our free time with our deans, in the cafeteria, and even the new SO store, which sells everything from t-shirts to Twix. These are some of the little things we will always remember about our school.
Here is a brief look into the Advanced Placement Bio class. This class helps prepare students who are interested in the medical field get a head start on college. Throughout this year, the students have done many labs that reflect this year's curriculum. My favorite show is The Simpsons. Thank you. My favorite movie is Forrest Gump. I don't have a favorite TV show. I love the Buffalo Bills. That's right. Five straight. My favorite show is uh, Video Music Box, Martin Lawrence, and uh, Def Jam. Cujo and Goodfellas. Favorite TV shows, New York Undercover, um, Martin, Living Single. The best looking guy in the world is Val Scaravella. <laughs> yes. Through the Looking Glass has been a project that fully captures the spirit of the class of 95. Remember those candid shots and those crazy editors running around trying to meet deadlines. We all have played a part in keeping Yearbook 95 alive. Music is another one of our many interests and talents at Port. Either we're dancing to it, moving to the beat, or playing it in our band. Richmond High School's annual sing performances could be defined, it would mean creativity, talent, originality, tears, and laughter, but most importantly, friendship. In 1994 as juniors, we won and broke the 10-year cycle of senior victories. Although our senior sing of 95 did not steal first place once again, the memories of it will remain in our hearts for a lifetime. Many of us have taken a computer course such as word processing that prepares students for a bright future in the business world. With its many programs, students have been offered hands-on experience improving their computer literacy for success in today's modern world. there's nothing to it. Poor Richmond's fashion fads include styles of every type. Whether it's your torn jeans, leather jackets, or even the old popular jam sports, these are definitely the wardrobe must-haves for 95. holiday season, over 20 students and faculty joined together to make Christmas a little happier for a group of homeless children. 
they brought the Christmas spirit and Santa to a nearby homeless shelter. That's the Port Spirit. Ever wonder, but were too embarrassed to ask? Have you ever wondered why teachers always tell you to look it up in the dictionary when you can't spell it? Have you ever wondered how the hair on your arm knows when to stop growing? Why do fat chance and slim chance mean the same thing? Why do they call them a pair of jeans if there's only one? Why do they call them apartments when they're all stuck together? Why do they call it cottage cheese when it's not made in cottage? It doesn't taste like cheese. Why do they call it lipstick when it always comes off? basketball team headed by Coach G had a record of 9 and 13. With the MVPs Yusuf Cross, Robert McRae, and Sidney Bass, they were 5th in PSAL and 8th in Staten Island High School League. Although this year's team was undermanned, they still play with a lot of heart. With the help of a new coach, Coach S and team captain Chalice Averett, this year's team had a successful season with a record of 8-6. and six. Whether they're on the beam or the floor, our Portland gymnasts have always been outstanding. This year, our girls once again made it to the playoffs, proving that the red-rated gymnasts are a team to be reckoned with. Sure, we can stand each other from the first to the last bell of a school day, but can we live with each other for an entire weekend? Of course, and our senior ski trip proves it. On Friday the 13th of January, the class of 95 left by the bus load to test their skills on the slopes. Besides skiing, there was ice skating, horseback riding, and even fashion shows, but poor Richmond was exceedingly outstanding. This trip was definitely one of the most treasured memories of the senior year, where everyone was more than just a classmate, and instead was part of a group that could share all the fun, games, and laughter as one. How much more love could there be between the class of 1995? Well, for Valentine's Day, friends, sweethearts, or even secret admirers had a chance to express their feelings by sending each other carnations. This day truly adds to the meaning of poor Richmond as a school with a heart. And here our troops go marching on, from our color guards to the instruments and our JRTC. But Richmond's marching band has been noted for its excellence. They have been heard from the streets of Manhattan to Forest Avenue and neighboring states representing the finest that our school has had to offer. Graduation. After graduation, I'm going to have an awesome summer, and I don't know where I'm going to school yet. The graduation of Golden King 295! I'm going to Stanton! Buffalo in the house! Albany, oh. kid, Albany. Buffalo in the house, yeah! Woo. Harvard!
the new, the cool, in 1995. New technology continued to impact our lives in information and entertainment. Four of every five computers sold now have CD-ROM capabilities, advancing the digital movement in the home as well as the office. And in schools, as the first interactive CD yearbooks were introduced by NBY, combining video and print memories. New, stronger satellites allowed the home satellite dish to shrink to the size of a large pizza. And there was new telecommunications legislation that will blur the lines between cable, electric, and telephone companies' services internationally. In the theater is the story of a simple man and his life set box office records. Forrest Gump dominated the Oscars, including Best Movie, Actor, and Director. The top soundtrack of a film, an easy winner, The Animated Lion King. On television, Home Improvement and Seinfeld remained at the top of primetime ratings. New hit series included Friends and the return of the hour-long drama, ER, Emmy-winning emergency room fiction. Hi, my name is Christina. After graduation, I'm going to hang out with all my friends. Then after that, I'm going to go to Puerto Rico, and then I'm going to hang, I'm going to go to college, CSI, with my friend Michelle. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm going to school after graduation. Hi, my name is Nikki Durenzi, and I'm going, I start college in July, John Jay. And over the summer, I'm going to just try to chill out with my buddies. I'm going to party, and then it's off to CSI. After graduation, we're going to be moving on the road. And I'm going to the Seton Institute, and I'm going to Southern Connecticut. In September, I'll be going to College of Staten Island. We're going to be playing soccer, yeah! Yeah! yeah. It's tonight, maybe boot camp, and then I'm off to Alabama State. I'm going to party, and then I'm going to Barry University. When I graduate, I want to go to Hunter College. I'm probably going to work all summer, but I want to go on vacation. After graduation, I'm going to be working. I'm going to go to college. And I like to say hi to my mother. Hi, Mom. After graduation, I'm going to work to pay for my college books. After graduation, I'm going to the Navy to get my nursing degree. But then, we're going to New Falls. We're going to CSI. I'm happy. <laughs> Not only are our poor Richmond students smart and talented, but they also know how to have a good time. Senior night saw the class of 95 in their most social mood dancing the night away. Just look at the fancy foot moves and the bright faces. Boy, we really were a happy group. before I leave to college. And I'm going to drive my car, and I'm going to go to CSI, and I'm going to drive my car some more, and I'm going to hang out with Tracy, because we're good friends. Hi, this summer I'm going to be a lifeguard at the Island Swim Club, and then I'm going to St. Bonaventure University. On May 5, 1995, Portram High School held its second annual fashion show held at the Columbian Lyceum. Over 30 students participated in this event. Profits were donated to the PTA Association, who awarded five scholarships to the class of 1995.
I knew that this was going to be a very special class. As soon as they walked in, I knew that they were going to be terrific, and I know that I was right. I saw that the other night at the award ceremony, and I've felt it all for the four years. I feel very emotional because I'm really going to miss this group. This was a terrific group. I had a lot of fun with them, and I wish them the very best of luck. The class of 95, I'm with three lovely young ladies, and I love you, and I wish you the best. Please come back and see us, and congratulations. Bye. The fall of 94 will always be remembered in baseball. No World Series due to the player strike. In other sports news this year, Nebraska went undefeated to finish number one in the college football polls. World Cup soccer came to the USA. Brazil left with the coveted championship. Steve Young and Jerry Rice connected as the 49ers won another Super Bowl. British Columbia over Baltimore for the CFL Grey Cup. Unbeaten Connecticut won the women's championship, defeating Tennessee. And UCLA returned to the Final Four, beating Arkansas for the title. Akeem, Clyde, and Houston swept Orlando for another NBA title. New Jersey's Devils raised the Stanley Cup by sweeping Detroit. Winning the PSAL City Championship just proved the success of our softball team. These athletes have been great at representing Port Richmond as the best we have to offer, including Bonnie Cohen, Pegasus Award winner, and Natalie Medina, Championship Game MVP. Once again, the Port Richmond High School Red Raiders softball team comes out on top. Did we ever doubt it? No way. Boys baseball team has had home run success almost every season, and this year was no exception. With the assistance of Coach G and Coach Davino, the Red Raiders strive for the best through a tough, grueling season. Placing fourth from the PSAL, this year's boys volleyball team was a source of pride for Portsmouth High School. Keep up the good work, guys. Led by Coach S, our girls soccer team has had their best season to date. With tremendous effort, dedication, and teamwork, the Red Raiders kicked their way to success. The tennis team this year came in third place in the PSAL championships. They defeated their key rivals McKee, Staten Island Tech, and Susan Wagner. Led by seniors Russ Falcon, Matt Jacobs, and Greg Lieb, along with the All-Stars Joey Dichtenberg and Brad Silva, they were destined for a great season. I would like to sincerely offer my congratulations to the class of June 1995. I wish you all great success and the best of luck in everything that you attempt for the rest of your life. Go get them. Class of 1995 will always hold a special place in my heart because I came to Port Richmond High School the same time that they arrived. I wish them all the best of luck and that their dreams all come true. I just want to congratulate all of the seniors. I have to tell you this has been an incredible 95 class. We had a small group, but a real talented group, and I have to tell you, I love them all. They're great. We're really going to miss them, but I know they're going to do terrific things with themselves. So. I love you guys. <laughs> this year's spring musical, Joseph and the Music and Technicolor Unicoat, proved to be a hit at Portram High School. The musical was directed by Mr. Anthony Lodigo and Nancy Delaney. The musical director was Linda Bonicelli. Michael Shanley starred as Joseph, supported by an outstanding cast. Over 75 students worked together long hours to make Joseph the huge success it was. Musical theater is alive and well at Portion High School. Who 
says that we all just can't get along. At Poor Richmond, the diversity of our student body brings together various cultures that we can all learn about and appreciate, as seen through the tremendous success of our Harmony Day Festival. Our Harmony Day festivities featured an assembly program showcasing talent across the cultures of our student body. We also held an evening performance celebrating the similarities shared at Poor Richmond High School. All the people who are graduating with you, um, I guess I'll see you around, all right? Good luck in the future. Bye-bye. Uh, I wish everybody the best of luck, and I have no idea what to say, so I'll see you all later. I'd like to congratulate the class of 95 on their graduation and just say goodbye and good luck to all my friends. I'll miss you all. Bye-bye. Congratulations, class of 95. Uh, I'm going to miss you all. I hope, have, I hope you have a great life, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Mr. President, what do you think about the entrees at Port Richmond Cafeteria? Well, I, I think we could certainly change it some. President, President. Mr. President, Mr. President, do you think the program office could get things right the first time? President, President. Uh, Mr. President, what do you think about our established teachers here at Port Richmond? Some are funny and some aren't. That concludes today's session. The magical night finally arrives. After all the anticipation and anxieties of what the night is expected to bring, we take off our t-shirts and jeans and we prepare for a night of elegance. After we are all dressed and ready to go, we pile into our limos and head for the manor. Class of 95. Hi, my name is Tayana Rivera. I want to say good luck to the class of 95. All right, peace to all the people in 95 and congratulations. We say congratulations to the class of 95 and good luck in the future. Hi, class of 95. I had a great four years with you. Goodbye, class of 95. It's been a great four years and I made a lot of friends. Class of 95, this is what makes it all worth the while. Stay in school and don't forget about the grades. All right, I just want to say goodbye to everybody, and that's it. Class of 95, I'd like to say good luck in the future. I'd like to congratulate everybody, and good luck. I want to say thank you for everyone to make this possible, and have a nice life. As the night at the manor comes to an end and we pile into our limos one last time, our night on the town has only just begun. We begin to imprint the memories of the special night in our minds forever. This night will truly be forever young. At awards night, credit is given where credit is due. Here, the class of 95 may shine again as they receive recognition for their many accomplishments.
this year's top music. Good luck to everybody. I love you, Claudia. I love you, Chalice. I love everybody in Gateway. Thank you, Miss Bucaro and Miss Lodico for everything you've done for me. I'm gonna miss all my teachers, especially Miss Vinyl, Miss Lodico, Principal, and wish me luck in New Hampshire, college. I'd like to say goodbye to all my friends from Port Richmond, Adam, Bonnie, Greg, Anthony. It's been a wonderful two years here, and I'll miss you all. I was saying congratulations to the class of 1995. Uh, we're here? I don't know. Yeah! yeah. Well, good luck to everybody that's graduating in 95 and best of luck. Anyway, congratulations to the class of 95. I wish y'all the best of luck in college and everything you wish to do. Let's say goodbye to everybody. I've had some good memories and I've always had some bad, but good luck, everybody. Yo, boom, this is Big Mars giving fat shout out to Trilogy. Yo, 95 seniors, what's going? There's a no saying so. Good luck to everyone out there. I love you, class of 95. I'll miss you all. Jeanette, I'll miss you. Evan, I love you. Um, thank you to all my teachers. Police Department sought and obtained a warrant for the arrest of O.J. Simpson, charging him with the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Lyle Goldman. That devastating earthquake that killed 5,500 people and caused more than $100 billion in damage in Belfast, Catholics and Protestants led separate torchlit parades and embraced when they met. Voters give Republicans control of the House and Senate for the first time in 40 years. It's crazy. This is Woodstock 94. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Connecticut. Canada. The shuttle Endeavor and its crew of seven are prepared to make history. Four crew members will spend their time conducting astronomy observations and maintenance on three exotic telescopes in the shuttle's cargo bay. With the first day of 1995 came the roar of Russian tanks captured by the Chechens. And when the bomb ripped apart the federal building in Oklahoma City, people as far away as 30 miles felt the rumble. The signing of yearbooks, the hugs and kisses between friends, our last visit to the cafeteria. Besides the senior brunch going on, there is also all of the excitement and mixed emotions of one of the last times the senior class of 95 will be together. I'd like to uh, congratulate the class of 95, my first graduating class, and thank you for a terrific school year. Um, I think it's important that everyone remembers to remember their school. You will realize sometime in the future uh, the value of the education that you received at Port Richmond High School, and you'll also remember some of those people that were very influential in assisting you in making some of the decisions that uh, will stay with you for the rest of your lives. Uh, always remember to give something back to your school. Uh, always remember to come back and say hello and let those people who were influential in your life know how well you are doing. And uh, always remember that uh, someone will follow in your footsteps and the legacy that you leave behind is important. We're very proud of you. Uh, I'm very proud myself to be able to say that I was the principal during the 94-95 school year and I look forward to continued and great success from the class of 1995. Congratulations and good luck. I'd like to take this time to say what a privilege it's been to work with the senior class of 1995. I really enjoyed being the coordinator of student activities for the past two years, but this year has really been special and you've been a special class to me. Once again, best of luck to the class of 1995 and all you do. I know you'll succeed because you've proven already that you're the best. Here we are at Wagner College to celebrate a day that combines the memories and experiences that we all share. No one can believe how time flew so quickly. Through all the speeches and finally receiving our diplomas, we all reflect on our achievement as a graduate with the class of 95.
that is an achievement that we share with each other and with everyone here that helps make it possible. Nothing can dampen our spirits today in such a happy and auspicious time. When we first enter Fort Richmond, we are filled with anxiety and didn't know what to expect. There's been many hugs and kisses to be shared from all those people that have cared. And on this day, June 27, 1995, we hope to keep our memories alive of the past four years we've spent together that we will cherish now and forever. And though our futures may cause us to part, we will always be close at heart. Now only time can tell the fates of our lives. Good luck to all in the class of 95. Till they're gone. Right now, the Multimedia Yearbook, the book, the video, and now CD-ROM in selected schools. It's the yearbook set for today.